Oh god, I've had... <laughs> I had mercenaries raised this entire time. Yeah, forgot about that. Really need to remember to get rid of them as soon as I'm done with them. Apparently I still have many thousands... Oh, okay. Uh, didn't really realize that I owned a whole chunk of the trident here. Any special reason? No? Okay. Uh, I'm guessing that she just happened to be one of my... I, I have no idea. I have no idea how, why I have the trident, but I have it. I have the trident, I have Old Town, uh, I have the people on my side, and, uh, you know, uh, also he's Stannis. He's, he's the rightful ruler of the Iron Throne. So yeah, um, this character is looking very promising indeed. Does he indeed intend to... Eh, yeah, he'll end his plot. Oh, yeah. Did not consider the fact that they'd have a territory advantage. Wow, I'm being soundly beaten because apparently this peasant revolt has some exceptionally talented commanders. Yeah, they've studied a lot of military theory, to be fair. Alright, well, let's send those guys in to clean up the mess. Obviously, the troops I've sent there will long have been defeated, yep. Still hasn't had any children by that guy, so that's fine. Oh yeah, now her fertility's increased. Sure. Sure. Stannis is at the ripe age of 13 now, so it's probably around about time to start looking for a wife. Interestingly, Lady of House Terek is one of the top candidates. How he would gain prestige from marrying into House Terry? Oh, it's because it's the... Well, it's the Queen's daughter, but not by marriage to the King. We'll see how she reacts. Prestige is always nice. Oh, she agrees to it. Well, there you go. If he gets a Terry, I get a Terry. Um, wait. She's the heir to the Kingdom of the Iron Throne. But she's a Terek. Did... Did Rickard marry matrilineally? Did he... What? Alright, that... That kind of boggles my mind a little bit. That... that He must have married matrilineally. And now his daughter of a Terek is gonna... Well, she's the heir to the throne. Um, okay. I just did it for the prestige, but wow. Yeah, that's, um, doesn't make any sense. Also, it'll be kind of dumb if that marriage does succeed, because it'll just mean that we inherit the Iron Throne in the next generation. Well, don't worry, we'll look for a much more satisfying conclusion than that, I'm sure. I'm guessing that Ricard will have other children, and uh, but we can use that claim uh, to get ourselves the throne. There we go. Can't go this far and just inherit the throne. It's just cheesy. We need to take it, because it's ours. Uh, we've got 92% war score now. So, yeah, I'm thinking that the Iron Throne will uh, take care of the rebellion pretty soonish. But we're just moving some troops in there to make sure the job he gets done. There we go. Oh wow, yeah, the Iron Throne kind of backed us up a lot there. There we go. That's that war one. And uh, hopefully that's the end of it. Very, very healthy troop counts. And finally at peace after... Uh, maybe three or four years. Good. Anything for a quiet life? Oh, uh... Second Iron Throne Northern du Jour War over the North. Um, so that, yeah, this is weird because the North is kind of independent but doesn't have a monarch. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, this is the second time that Rickard's tried to sort of sort that whole mess out. Hopefully he'll succeed. Um, because 
Well, actually, it's interesting, isn't it? Because I suppose if I was to rise against the, well, now six kingdoms, I would have an easier time of it because the north probably wouldn't uh, get involved. But at the same time, if I won, uh, the north wouldn't be mine straight away. Oh, um, doesn't look like I'm getting much of a choice in this, though. I'm not going to make a bid for independence or, you know, make the king dislike me any more than he already does. He really doesn't need any help to... Uh, to have a grudge against me. Well, that was very, very quick. Um, uh, it looks as though it's... I don't understand. The, the Causus Belly is no longer valid. I'm not really sure what that means. Um, and, and because nothing seems to have changed. Um, okay, well, there doesn't appear to be any kind of clarification available here. For some reason, the North is just doing its own thing right now. Just the 29 claims that we could press right now. Um, obviously going through something of a quiet spell as far as they're concerned. Most of them seem to require us declaring war on, on Mother Dearest, so... Provided she doesn't have any more offspring, we should probably just leave her alone. Wow, plot power to kill her is, you know, pretty, pretty high to begin with. Um, not many people feeling particularly disposed towards killing her, though, or disposed towards disposing of her. Um, so it looks like Muriel's probably going to hang on to, uh, well, her position, I guess, and life and whatnot, for a little while at least. <laughs> Those must be very quiet meetings, the uh, Lady Lasana for the Iron Throne meetings, chaired by Lady Lasana. A Lady Lasana production. Wow, most of her children have actually died. Um, you'd have thought that that left her a dynasty in a somewhat precarious position, but I'm guessing that her children have have, have had children by now, uh, given that they are... yeah, indeed they have. Uh, seems a bit unlikely that we'll be able to eliminate them. Interestingly though, uh, she is... Uh, Lisana's of House Meadows and her heir is a swan and his heir is a grell, so House Grell of all the houses could be uh, in charge of the Reach and the Riverland soon. The only character I can remember being from that house in the books, I think, is Desmond Grell, but I, I can't remember for the life of me if he did anything at all interesting. Uh, so we've lost our Master of Arms to one of the manifold illnesses that sort of roamed the Seven Kingdoms. Uh, slightly worryingly, Stannis is also in, uh, in an area that has disease because he's in Old Town at the moment. So let's send me to be educated elsewhere. Oh, although... Archmaster of the Citadel seems like a good person to teach me, but... Uh, but Old Oak doesn't have any diseases. So I'll, I'll change to a different school for now. I have a lot of good choices for my Master at Arms, actually. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's pretty helpful to my levies, I would have thought. He has a martial skill of 18, my Master at Arms. Actually, I don't know if it affects my levies, but, uh, but I'm sure it's useful for other reasons, if not. That's a slight concern. Usually when there's a child lord inheriting, it means that their dynasty isn't very secure. Fortunately, they have, well, at least one sibling. And I'm guessing that that guy died of disease. Well... Yeah, uh... 
Seems like titles and areas are... Oh, terrific. I knew I made a good choice, joining you. Now I'm a squire. Awesome. Yeah, I was kind of hoping for a more martial-based education, so... I guess being an old town wasn't necessarily the best choice anyway. Oh, and now he's come of age. Over the past ten years I've been groomed for command, and so... I think I get poor fighter definitely, and then... Like, oh, no, I might not even get poor fighter, but uh, I will get one of those command traits. Although apparently there's a zero percent chance of brilliant commander, so I'm not sure, <laughs> sure why that's an option. I am an incompetent commander. Terrific, grand. Did not get the poor fighter trait. Well, that statistically could not have gone worse. Um, but we'll, well, we'll make the lemonade that we can make with our, you know, incompetent lemons. I'm not sure where that was going, uh, but we do have a shitload of troops in any case. 